What is up everyone? This is Mall Tutorials here and today I want to show you how to fix the MSVCP140.dll missing error on your Windows 10, 8 or 7 device. So the first thing you actually want to do is you want to have a Windows, let me open up over here and you want to just Google MSVCP 140.dll. Uh, I'll leave the link in the description below for you guys to kind of check out. But you want to basically go to this website over here and then download the DLL file. Make sure you obviously download it for the specific version for you. So if you have a 64 bit computer, make sure you do 64. So basically, you're just going to download it and let this download. It's going to download in a couple seconds and have it on your desktop because we're basically going to manually take this file and then place it in the right folder. So we're going to basically, if you don't have an extractor, hopefully you do, just extract it on your desktop somewhere. Uh, you're going to see the MSVCP5 pop up and boom, you're going to see it right here and the DLL file is right there. There's also a readme text if you want to read it completely up to you. Uh, so what we're going to do next basically is we're going to take that file and we're going to copy it over into the place where we need to. So what you want to do is you want to go to this PC. In here you want to go to local disk. In local disk we're going to find something called Windows. So just search for it, find it. In here we're going to find something called System32. Literally all you're going to do next over here is just drag and drop the file in here because you're going to see this is where all your DLL files are. So you're going to just basically drag this file, drop it in here, and it'll probably ask you for permission and most likely will ask you for permission. Um, so wait, hold on, let me just see if I can MSC. So you can see like all the different MSVCs files are here. Poss like I said, you're, the ones you're looking for specifically is probably not going to be here. It's going to be missing. So obviously I already have it. No need for me to do it. But for you, if it's missing, obviously you're going to copy it over, paste it in here, and voila, you're not going to have this error persist any longer and you should be good to go. But like I said, you're going to copy it over. It's going to ask you for permission. Give it the permission. Copy it over. Restart your computer if you need to and you should not get this error persist any longer. So yeah, that's basically it. Uh, if you guys overall like this video, please smash that like button helps a lot. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell. And that more tutorials out. Peace.